Affinity Photo version 2.03 has been released, so let's have a quick look what has been improved and what has been fixed. Here we have a screenshot of the release log from Sharif and this looks like a regular bug fix release without any real new features. Let me highlight some fixes they did. Actually the first one was quite a frustrating bug. It was not saving your custom presets you are adding in the file new dialog. The next one, with the text stroke not working correctly with gradients, well, let's quickly check that. Here's a piece of text. As you can see, it has an empty fill already. Now let's switch to the node tool so we can change the stroke settings and indeed, it is working properly. One important UI change that is not mentioned here is the icons in the stroke settings. The cap, join and align icons are much better readable. In the previous version they were outlines and not very clear what was what. Ok, here's a bug I'm happy they fixed. Well, fixed partially. When you search in the macro library, the app would crash, which was really bad. Sadly, the search is not working correctly. For example, as you can see, I have a macro starting with 09, but when I do a search on 09, I get zero results. So, this is still work in progress, I guess. Here is another one that I'm glad they fixed. The undo with the adjustment parameters should be working correctly. In the previous version, I was confused why the undo sometimes didn't do anything. Well, it turned out it was just broken. The last item I want to highlight is the fix in the macro recording. I was hoping that they would also fix the multiple dialogues when selecting layers while recording a macro. But sadly, this is not fixed. Let me show you what I mean. I will start recording a macro and when I change layers, the application asks for which layer. And then it asks again, which is kind of confusing. Also, one item that has not been fixed, which is super duper frustrating, is the preserve alpha bug in the blur filters. If I add a Gaussian blur, I can enable or disable the preserve alpha. However, once it's set and the dialog is closed, I can no longer change it. Look what happens when I reopen the blur dialog. No checkbox. Pretty frustrating and definitely not awesome. Also check the layers panel text in my setup. The text is cut in height, which looks quite amateuristic. So we still have some road to cover until the bugs and glitches are solved in the v2 version. And I'm really happy that Serif is picking them up and hopefully will come with more quick releases to fix them. And maybe during these releases we might also get some new cool features. Thank you for watching.